Hello, welcome back. I'm hoping that you can see that this does actually cover <laughs> everything. <laughs> it keeps like slipping down and going out of view in the viewfinder, so it's not too low cut as you can see, but it just kind of looks like that from the way the camera is angled. We're gonna get into the video. I'm gonna be doing an updating lipstick collection for you for kind of autumn fall. I last did one in spring summer and you guys seem to really like that. Some of you seem to be as obsessed with lipstick as I am. So I thought I would do an updated one. I just went through last night and kind of reorganized my collection and put away a lot of those lipsticks that I featured in my spring summer one. I've also bought some new ones over the past few months which I've kept in and I didn't speak about in the last video because I didn't own them yet. So yeah we're gonna start by going through my lip glosses and lip liners. There will be some that are the same from the last videos but I'll talk through them anyway because you may not have seen that video or you may be new to my channel so I will go through that but I'll link up the last video below if you do want to have a watch of that too. So first off is this lip liner from Rimmel, it is the Exaggerate lip liner in the shade East End Snob. I think it was Amelia Liana that first spoke about this like year, a year or more ago and she is the reason that I bought this. I'm going to be doing lip swatches of all of these shades. It's a very kind of rose nude dark colour, perfect for autumn. Then I have my two gosh lip liners to be honest. This one I feel like is very similar. This one is Nougat Crisp and oh no it's a little bit more brown than East End Snob. All of the lip liners that I have are very comfortable and easy to wear. Then I have my favourite gosh lip liner which is Angel Kiss which is even more nude. It is right on the end there. You probably can't really see these colours but as I say I will be doing lip swatches. All the formulas are pretty similar. Um, I like all of these brands. We have another Rimmel Exaggerate in Call Me Crazy. I featured this in my life update video. I think it was like a makeup tutorial of a summer red lip and we have that one right there. Yeah, so they're not too drying on the lips as well. I have to say I haven't actually worn this one yet. I bought it for this season. It is the NYX lip liner in the shade Brick House. It's like a really deep red. I did try it on um, but then I took it straight off because I was just kind of trying it and I didn't want to wear a colour that dark. I bought it to wear with a NYX matte lip cream, which I will talk about in a minute, but it's basically the same colour. Very like autumn, winter appropriate. It's that really deep kind of burgundy red on the end of my hand there. So those are all the lip liners I own. I tend to just go for this Gosh Angel Kiss one every time because it's a really nude lip liner so it kind of goes with whatever you put over the top. So next in this little cup I have glosses. In the first lipstick collection video that I did I talked through my kind of storage of my lipstick so if you want more info on that then go watch that video. A few of these glosses will be the same. Let me find the ones that are going to be the same. So I keep this in this little pot. This is the only kind of chubby stick I own now. It's bourgeois lip crayon thing in Proudly Naked. It is the most perfect nude. It's basically the same colour as my natural lip colour. So I just keep it in there because it's a really easy nude to throw on if I can't think of anything else to wear. Two L'Oreal lip glosses in Never Let Me Go and Protest Queen. They are quite similar colours but one has glitter in it. So Never Let Me Go I love wearing for in the spring and summer and I wore this all the time. Um, it's just really flattering somehow. The gold shimmer doesn't look too glittery on your lips and it's just like brings out the colour of your lips. It's really reflective. And then Protest Queen is just a really good basic nude. The L'Oreal lip glosses formula is so good. That and the NYX butter glosses 
they're probably my favourite formulas because they're so comfortable to wear, they're not too gloopy, they taste nice. The other one I will have featured in my spring summer one is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Apple Strudel. This is a very peachy pink and again I, to be honest, probably won't get much use out of this during the winter because it is more spring summer appropriate just in terms of color and how it looks on me and stuff but I just kept it in there because I had space in this cup and it's a good kind of peach option if I do ever want to wear a peach lip. So next I will run through the new lip glosses I have in here. All three of them are NYX. <laughs> They're just very comfortable. I would say in comparison this one is ever so slightly more pigmented but the NYX ones are pretty much just as good. Okay, so NYX Fortune Cookie. It's a uh, quite a pale nude. See how it compares to Protest Queen. Yeah, so it's a little bit more pale than Protest Queen and it has a slight pink tinge to it, so it is quite flattering to wear. I tend to just again throw this over the top of whatever lipstick I'm wearing to add a bit more of a nude look to it. The next one I actually haven't opened so I'm gonna swatch it for the first time. I've obviously swatched it in the store but I haven't worn it on my lips so the first time I wear it will be for this lip swatch video. It is NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. This is the kind of nude gloss from NYX that everyone talks about. It's the one that a lot of beauty vloggers recommend. I didn't really want it because I had that fortune cookie one and it's more kind of my style but then I swatched it in store and I was like that's really pretty I want to get that. It's quite a lot darker than the fortune cookie one but it's just a really nice colour. It's actually quite similar, it's a little bit lighter but quite similar to the lipstick I'm wearing at the moment. It's that shade right there. This kind of shade is going to be a good shade to have for autumn and winter. Then the other one I bought recently is a different formula, still from NYX. It's the Mega Shine Lip Gloss. I was wearing this in my skincare routine video over the top of a lipstick and oh my god, I think it's my new favourite lip gloss, seriously. Something about this just looks so pretty and light reflective. It's the shade Sugar Pie. I love the name by the way. It's actually very similar to Fortune Cookie but it has a slight shimmer running through it. That one there is Sugar Pie and that one is Fortune Cookie. It's not even a shimmer, it's like a sheen. It's not like flecks of glitter like this one for example. You can really see the flecks of glitter in it but in this one it's just, you can see it in the tube because when you hold it, it like sparkles, but you can't see the individual flecks. It's so flattering on. The only thing I don't like is that it tastes like bubble gum. Not my favorite scent. Don't know why they couldn't have just scented it the same as all their other lip products because I love that scent. It's like creamy vanilla-y and it's really, really good, but bubble gum, not a fan. It doesn't really last that long on the lips though, so. I put up with it, you know. So now we are on to the lipsticks. So I have all my liquid lipsticks at the back and then one regular lipstick and then I have all the black lipsticks at the front. I'll run through from the back row first. So we will talk about the liquid lipsticks first. They're pretty much all NYX soft matte lip creams bar one. So the first one I have is in the shade Monte Carlo. This is to go with the lip liner Brick House that I mentioned. It's a very deep berry red colour. It's right there. Perfect again for autumn winter. I love wearing these kinds of shades when it gets really really cold. A really simple eye and then a really deep lip. I think they look really pretty. And then I have the one in the shade Morocco. Again this is the one that I used with this lip liner in that life update video where I put my makeup on for you guys. This is more of a summery red but I've only just bought it and I've only used it like two or three times. So I wanted to keep it out just to kind of make me use it a bit more. It's there, you can see next to the Monte Carlo colour, it's a lot more orange toned than kind of purpley toned. So those are the only bright colours I have. I'm really more of a nude girl at heart, but 
I like that I have kind of a dark option and a more orange toned option of reds if I want to wear them. Also I should say the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams are really nice formulas. They're very comfortable to wear even though they are matte. They're obviously going to be more drying than a moisturising lipstick but in general they're very comfortable. They're not that long lasting though because they're more comfortable to wear. If you want to go for a drier formula then that will last a lot longer but I personally don't love the really really dry formulas so I prefer the next ones. The next one I'm going to talk about is the shade Can. This is really pretty actually. I wore this in my, my everyday makeup tutorial where I had like two different lip options. This was one of them. It's actually a really pretty dark nude colour. It's kind of similar in tone to the Tiramisu Butter Gloss but it's quite, it's a bit darker than that. So hopefully you can see that above Above it is the Butter Gloss right there in Tiramisu. I find these kinds of shades very flattering on me, so I have quite a few that are quite similar to this, actually. The last soft matte lip cream I own is Stockholm. I think I will have talked about this in my spring-summer collection as well. This is more of a kind of true nude. It's lighter than can, so it's a good option if I want something a bit more lighter and brown toned and this one is more kind of mauve, mauve toned, that's can right next to it. So yeah, I like that one too. And then the last liquid lipstick I have is my Dose of Colours one, and this is in the shade Bear With Me. Really pretty, true, kind of pinky nude shade. In terms of formula, this is one of the ones that is a lot more drying, but a lot more long lasting. So it depends what you like. If you don't like your lips to feel very, very dry, then you won't like this. I don't like that, but I put up with it because I love the colour so much. This is the shade right there on the end. It's actually very different to any of the other liquid lipsticks I own, so I'm pleased about that. The, I would say it's kind of the most nude coloured one that Dose of Colours do, that's why I bought it. I thought it was going to be more of a peachy nude, but it's definitely more of a kind of brown tone nude, and it looks darker on me than it did online on pictures. Bear that in mind, it does pull a bit more brown on me. So if you have very fair skin, it might look a little bit more browny, but it's definitely still a pinky brown, you know? This one is Urban Decay Revolution lipstick in the shade Native. They've discontinued this line of lipsticks. This is this was like their old line of lipsticks. So they now have the Vice lipsticks, but they still have this shade in there. So you can still get this shade. It's quite a true pink shade. It's very pigmented and very creamy and very comfortable to wear. I really like it. I do usually put something a bit more nude over the top just to kind of bring the pinkness down a tad because when I wear very pink lipsticks they can look a little bit bright on my skin tone because of my hair and my fair skin. That was the entire back row, now I'm going to go through the front row. As you can see it is mainly MAC lipsticks. As you know I'm trying to get more into cruelty free makeup so I will not be purchasing from MAC anymore. If you want to know why MAC isn't cruelty free then there's tons of information online about that so you can just look that up but I am just keeping the MAC products that I have and I do really like them but I definitely want to invest in some of the new Urban Decay Vice lipsticks because they're the same price as the MAC ones and they're cruelty free so now that they have brought out that new Vice lipstick range there's so many more colours as well so I think I'll be probably be able to find ones that I like just as much in that range. So the first one from MAC I'm going to talk about is Viva Glam 2 and this is a satin formula. This was like my favourite lipstick last autumn and winter. Um, I wore it all the time. It's one of those nudes that has a little bit of a grey undertone so it can make you look a little bit dead in a good way. As you can see it is a bit more grey toned than all of the others on my hand. It's not something that I would wear during the day generally because as I said it can have a little bit of that dead looking vibe to it but I really like it for in the evening. The next one I have, I don't get a lot of wear out but sometimes I do like to throw it on and it's MAC Plumful. I guess this is another bright 
lipstick that I have. I like this but the way that I like wearing it most is by applying it and then kind of tissuing it off so that it leaves more of a stain and like a berry stain look because it is glossy. Um, it's not the most flattering of shades because it's very dark. It can kind of move around a bit and smear a bit because it's so dark and it's also glossy. It's very pigmented though which is good. Then I will have spoken about this last time as well. This is um, MAC Creme de Nude. This was my first MAC lipstick which was a present from my housemates at uni. It is a true 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 nude and it's right there. Right there. It's a cream sheen formula so it's very creamy and the only way I really wear this is either under a kind of pinky gloss that basically just turns my lips a foundation colour so it's not the most flattering on its own but then the other way that I wear this is just by like as I said sometimes this Urban Decay one can be a little bit too pink so I'll just put this over the top and it just adds a bit more of a nude look to it. Next is the lipstick that I'm wearing today and this is MAC Cosmo. I completely forgot I had this. This like two autumn winters ago was my jam so the Viva Glam 2 was last year and the year before that I loved MAC Cosmo. It's an amplified finish. It's very comfortable to wear. It's not too matte but it's also not too moisturizing and glossy it's not like the cream sheen formulas which i can find to be a bit slippery sometimes but this is a bit more close to a satin formula but it's still more moisturizing than a satin formula if you know what i mean this is a nars audacious lipstick in the shade anita again bought this around the same time as i bought cosmo um, it's almost an exact dupe for it, but the formulas are slightly different. They're very similar though. I would say that this one is slightly more pigmented, the NARS one. That is Anita, the NARS one there, and then right next to it is MAC Cosmo. Just because it's a bit thicker and a bit more pigmented, it can look a bit more matte even though it doesn't feel matte on your lips. I would also say the NARS one is just a touch darker but very very minimal hardly noticeable at all to be honest i really like wearing the nars one in the, in the evening again on a night out or something like that so next i'm going to talk about you know one of my favorite nudes of all time if i need something that i want to look put together and classy and like i haven't really tried too hard with my makeup i'll wear this it is my chanel lipstick in adrienne the rouge coco lipstick it's just the perfect nude for me everyone has that perfect nude and this is my perfect nude it's very creamy and kind of like brownie toned but still Still got that little bit of pink undertone to it. Just looks like my natural, my natural lip colour basically in lipstick form. And in my skincare video, this was the lipstick I was wearing with this sugar pie gloss over the top. And I love the combination. So that was my autumn slash fall slash winter. But I might do an another one in winter depending on how much I acquire before then and how much I switch up my collection. I hope that you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment below with your favourite lip product for this season because I'm always looking for recommendations because I'm a lipstick junkie, you know. This is what my hand looks like now. So that is everything. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye!